Hello everyone, KYN here and welcome back to my Let's Play of Lemmings Plus 2. I was going to record um, earlier, but um, I was busy with a Jackbox session earlier with some um, um, like forum, forum, forumers um, from uh, with uh, members of the forum um, earlier. And so um, because of that, I haven't been able to uh, get to this until now. But here I am now, so I am ready to um, record myself solving the levels. Um, yeah, so shortly I got shortly after I got out of the shower last night, I just realized the solution to Genius 18. Um, yeah, it turns out that I was definitely overthinking it. And um, yeah, I definitely might have been able to solve it in the previous video before I stopped. But um, well, you know, these things happen where, you know, sometimes, um, for example, maybe I'm only able to solve one or a few levels in some videos, while others I'm able to solve many levels. But uh, here I came extremely close to finishing the entire pack while any level requiring more than one video. But well, so so far with pretty much every uh, pack I've LP'd, um, every single one of them <clears throat> has had at least one level where I needed more than one video uh, before I could solve it. The only exception was um, was a very small pack um, by the name of Samings, I believe. Uh, that was That's the only pack that so far that hasn't needed any level uh, that needed more than one video. But uh, anyway, um, it's pretty much bound to happen with like pretty much almost any custom pack, I think. Um, but uh, at the same time, um, I realized that there, there are definitely a lot of things that can happen while one is LPing. You know, um, I'm pretty sure there's some kind of psych psychological thing um, at play here. You know, it causes someone who is recording him or herself solving the lows. Yeah, and then you know, you know, you just eventually like mess up or whatever. And that's definitely been happening a lot in all my LPs, but well, you know, I'm well aware of that's what I signed up for when I signed up to be an LPer. And um, even then, I'm still enjoying myself very much. And so because of that, I will still be doing um, more LP videos in the future anyway. There's still a lot of packs that I want to, you know, cover on camera and show off myself um, solving the lows. So I'll be more than happy to keep on doing them, especially since the, um, the consensus is that everyone been enjoying my LP videos and so I said okay so if they're liking them a lot then why stop you know yeah I better give my audience slash viewers what they want and so I can definitely help with that by you know keeping my LPs going but anyway um that's pretty much what I wanted to say with my piece there and um in any case let's go ahead and see the solution to Genius 18 uh, that I meant to record you know, probably either last night or earlier today but I uh, haven't gotten around to doing so until now. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the Let's Play. All right, Genius 18 is an unexpected journey. Yeah, we have 20 lemmings and we need to save everyone here. Okay, this is a pretty clever solution. So um, yeah, here goes not then. Uh, there is some timing that is needed here. So um, I need to see if I am able to get the timing correct here. Uh, let me see, where did I? start uh, uh, bashing to the right. I think here what will need to happen is... Not there though. Yeah, so first of all... Yeah, we need a staircase going to the left. And then here we need to bash to the right, I mean, I mean to the left, and then cancel with a builder. Okay, and then the next thing that needs to happen is we need to start bashing to the right. And there's a reason for the staircase. The reason for the staircase is so that the basher keep on keep on going, because essentially it checks for the um, for the um, ceiling as well. And so to help it keep on batching, yeah, you know, we need we need that uh, builder staircase. Without that, uh, the basher will just simply give up after one stroke, and then we won't be able to get to the bottom. And so here, if my timing is correct, yeah, everyone should turn around while just leaving the basher to fall down. And yes, that's perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. And then here, uh, we need to give floaters to the next two lemmings that come that fall down the uh, basher tunnel. And then here, we're gonna go ahead and build to make a platform for the crowd to land on, so they don't they, they so that they won't splat. And the next one gets a floater. And then here, here's another timing thing as well. We need to uh, bash through this wall before anyone reaches it and turns around, because we won't be able to save anyone who turns around. So we go ahead and bash. So hopefully this is just the right time. The builder finishes, but we need him to drop. 
and then we need to build so that he turns around. Yeah, we can't afford to use a basher and then a builder. Because we need a basher over here. Okay, and I managed to get the timing uh, correctly. Awesome. First time, too. And then, yeah, after bashing, yeah, then build to cancel. And now they can walk out to the right. And because of this wall here, yeah, they, uh, they can't go walk out to the left either. So I think this is a part that I kept on missing. Although I did have this idea to like bash away the foot of the staircase. Um, but um, I think at that point, yeah, I was bashing too low so that everyone would still walk out to the left. So I think this was the part that I was missing anyway. And and just like the whole like after making this platform too, yeah, maybe using like more builders to turn the builder around. But even then, yeah, you're gonna waste too many builders and you won't be able to get to the exit. Okay. Um, I just realized this might be a difficult one as well. Uh, because is there a chance that that people can splat though? Yeah. Because I feel like there is a chance that this will happen. Oh uh, yeah, see? So I think that's another thing that I did not take into account here. Okay, yeah, so that's something that I did not take into account. Yeah, how to uh, give enough time to complete this bridge before anyone else arrives. Because, yeah, this is a very, very long way to fall. Okay, so that is something that I did not take into account. But, that's essentially the solution. Yeah, that's the whole idea. Uh, now I just need to uh, make it work. So that's the thing now. How am I gonna prevent any of them from splatting? Yeah, because this is a really, really long way to fall. Yeah, and we can still reach it there. Um, I wonder if this might end up being a bit precise though. Yeah, see now there's now there's binding again. Yeah, so that is something I did not take into account. Um so my thought of this being a quick one, nope. <laughs> this is probably gonna take a while because I need to figure this part out so that they don't spot. Um, is there any other way that we can do this though, like more easily? Um, yeah, it appears that we can't even afford to like use a build up here because then we will have to like bash it out later. Um, Yeah, and I think it's just the fact that they, um, you know, like too early or something. Um, There isn't really like any other place that I can do it, I believe. Um, yeah, because uh, what would be ideal is that is if I like maybe save the builder. Yeah, so that I don't need to use one to turn around. So that's another thing. Oh boy. This is just all sorts of problems. Um I 
Uh, what if I tried um, bashing a little more? Yeah, I highly doubt that this will work any better, but I um, guess I'll find out. Yeah, and then this is the part where they should all start splatting. Yep. So, this isn't any better. Yeah, and especially since more ended up splatting. Okay. <laughs> so much for that. Um, It's very possible that we may have to go the other way. We, we might have to use the builder the other way, actually. Yeah, maybe that's the other thing. So, I could probably try doing that. Yeah, see if that helps a bit. Oh no, not like that, though. Okay, um, yeah, let's try making a builder going to the right instead. See if that helps in any way. Oh yeah, we can do that, okay. Uh, but the only problem though is that I don't think it will cause them... Oh yeah, especially since we're going, coming from this way as well. Yeah, so I don't think that's going to help one bit. Um, yeah, because ideally I would want everyone to be contained. Uh, Yeah, it's one more leader. Um, yeah, this is this wouldn't work out. Yeah, this wouldn't work out at all. Um, there's got to be a way to, like, um... I mean... Yeah, it wouldn't even be necessary to, um, have someone built from behind. Um... Never mind. I thought I had this in the bag. Yeah, and that's like too high. I can't even get down. Here they'd be able to. Yeah, so now it's just them being like too close to one another. Um. Yeah, 
Yeah, and that guy ended up coming too soon. Let's go back and do what I did before. Um, yeah, then I'll be bashing away this staircase. Wow, just in the nick of time, too. I didn't bash out long enough. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. They just come too soon. And here, I'm pretty sure this isn't enough time. Another thing that would help is that is if I had another builder to make this platform. Yeah, then I wouldn't have to worry about them just falling off the end. Yeah, and now they're splatting. So yes, um, it would help if I had another builder. And that's the thing though, yeah, if I bash a little lower, um, they're not gonna, um, they're not gonna be able to turn around later. Um, so that's another problem. Um, one, two, three, and four. Uh, yeah, that is something I did not take into account here because um, um uh. I don't think there's any way to like get anyone uh, over there sooner though. Yeah, especially since bashing through this wall does take time. Um, then again, I do see some pixel walls that might help though. I believe there are some parts of the terrain that might be high enough so that, uh, yeah, if we like put a builder, yeah, then maybe just maybe it might be enough to stop them from climbing out. Yeah, let's see if that's true or not. Yeah, like I see one spot here that might. Uh, no, 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 that's not high enough at all. Um, yeah, I don't see any other place that might be high enough to, to do so. Uh, yeah, I highly doubt this would prevent them from getting up to 
Uh, yeah. Yeah. So it definitely seems that we will have to use a builder here to stop the basher, unfortunately. Um... Yeah, and another thing we can do is like use a basher here. But uh, yeah, they're still going to be able to walk up to the right up here though. So that's the other thing. Um, yeah, this is just something that I did not take into account. Um, I mean, it is a high release rate, but, um, uh, yeah, I don't know if it's just... Yeah, and then one more bash and then they'll be able to get out. Much of the terrain will remain. Um, I mean, if we use another builder, then it's five left, four, three, two. Yeah, then two's not enough to get up. And yeah, these guys are just gonna turn back way too soon anyway. Yeah, that appears. It appears that that will always be the case here. Yeah, see, they're coming pretty fast. So, yeah, it would help if I had a, a spare builder to um, turn everyone around. Or rather, um, to make a spot for them. But, it seems like the best we can do is just to... Um, um, See how that's my train of thought now. Yeah. So let's retrace our steps here. Yeah, we definitely need to bash and then cancel with the builder. Yeah, I think that's for sure. And then as I checked in the previous video, yeah, it's not possible to bash all the way through without using the builder staircase. Uh to help the basher. Uh so that uses two bashers already and also two builders. Then, yeah, we definitely need a builder to make a platform for the crowd. Uh, so that's three builders already. Yeah, and we also need at the same time somebody to bash through this wall. Um, yeah, and we'll, while making this platform, it's definitely not possible to turn the builder around until we get to here. Yeah, where well, we have to use another builder. And so that's the thing though. Um, yeah, how do you stop this splatting from occurring then if, um, if we're forced to use two builders here? Yeah, one for a platform and then one to um, turn the builder around. So that's already four builders, and then we need another builder to stop the basher here. That leaves us with three bash uh, builders to get to the exit, which is how many we need anyway. But um, during the process of building the bridge, yeah, some people are going to fall off in this battle. So <laughs> this is pretty uh, mystifying. Um. Yeah, um, 
There's definitely no way to stop them from, like, getting up. Uh, I mean, we could use the builders, but, uh, uh, it's not gonna stop them, though. Because, yeah, we need this platform here, that's for sure. Um... Most certainly at the beginning, we would definitely need uh, to use two bashers. Yeah, one to stop the crowd who are walking out to the left, and then definitely one to get down. And then we definitely need a basher to get through this wall. Yeah, so that leaves us with a basher left. Plus, might it even be necessary to keep on bashing it right for as long as we can? Even then, I don't think that's gonna help. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it won't. Yeah, I'm honestly at a loss right now. I thought I had it, but I did not think about this. Another just coming too soon. Yeah, this is like too low for them. Yeah, I don't think this this can reach the exit though. Oh yeah, that's too low. And this might be too low as well. Okay. Four ended up splatting that time. And it is high enough, fortunately. Yeah, I think just barely though. Uh, maybe about one or two more pixels uh, lower than it still would have been fine. But yeah. Or if I maybe did it with someone else here. And that might be too low actually. I'm 
Okay, he ended up surviving that time. Ah, uh, come on. Let's see, can anyone else survive this? No, I didn't think they could. Yeah, what if I tried it a bit lower? I think this is still spot high, actually. Yeah, it is. Yeah, and one still ended up splatting. Yeah, and now it's too low. And now this is too low as well. Um, yeah, so perhaps what would help here then is if I... Oh, and they you know, splatting. Okay, this worked. Okay. Yeah, this part is tricky. Okay. I'm pretty sure there are easier ways to do it, but yes. Like I said, from the very beginning, that's pretty much the gist of the solution. It's just making the uh, all the parts work. Anyway, Genius 19. Wrong way, Mr. Lemming. Yeah, I was told that this is a difficult one. Um, but we'll see how this goes. 50 Lemmings, 45 to be saved. Let's go. Okay, um, so we have, um, uh, force fields going the wrong way. Um, hmm, I think I can definitely see why this could be a hard one. Um, because, yeah, we, you have, like, a huge one-way wall in the way. And, uh, it seems like the only way to get around this would be to, um, like, um, I mean, if we bridge the gaps from both sides, um, yeah, so, from what it appears, uh, let's see, I was thinking of maybe going over the top, but no, it's, it goes all the way up to the ceiling, um, Um, hmm. Um, hmm. Yeah, I mean, it is going t to the left, right? The force field. Yeah, same thing with the arrows on the one way wall. Oh no, he actually turned it around, so yeah, it is definitely going to the left. Um, okay. Um, we do have four bombers, so we would definitely need to bomb through this one-way wall. I think that's for sure. 
And more importantly, you know, we won't be able to go up the left side, can we? Yeah, they wouldn't be able to. Um... Yeah, I mean, if we put the branches up here, no one can use them except for the climbers. Um... And then, if we go down here... Um... Yeah, we will have to bomb through it, it appears. And it's probably gonna take, like, all our four bombers. Um... Okay. Okay, and we only had two bastards as well. Um... Bomb, bomb, and then we bash through all that. Yeah, then we only have two bombers left, and that definitely wouldn't be enough to get through this. Um. Hmm. Um. Okay, the only way to get down here is, is to like dig around here or so. Um This is like the only way we can stop that digger is to like use like the block or the cancel him. I mean Let's just go ahead and see what happens after we do so. I'm not gonna worry about anyone drowning or anything. Yeah, I just want to see uh, what will happen after we build the one-way wall. Okay, we have some floaters as well. Okay, that's too high. This is enough to get up, though. Okay, yeah. Four bombers are definitely needed to get through that one-way wall. And then the rest of it should just be... built twice and then bash through these. Oh, no, I don't have any more bashers. So that's the case, then how will we get through the last obstacle? Yeah, I think it's interrupted. Um Okay. Hmm. So it's pretty interesting to get through that. Um Yeah, so I think it's very clear that we we need to build the bridges down here. Um, yeah, there's definitely no rescuing them otherwise. It appears. Hmm. Uh. Just like dig down and then use one basher. <laughs> All right, so we can do that, then get low enough. And we can bash all the way through.
Okay, and then we can send our other climbers over. Okay, and I c would send another climber over had I um, had another floater, but I unfortunately cannot. Yeah, because I don't have any more floaters. Yeah, and then if I mine the, the blocker out, then um, yeah, then the whole crowd's gonna drown. Uh. Yeah, so, if I had, um, hmm, yeah, we're getting somewhere, though, um, that's the good thing, at least. Um, hmm, let's see. Um, uh, yeah, we do have a miner, so it might be possible to use that somewhere. Um, Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, I can only send climbers out here, um, but they need to give um, be given floaters. Yeah, and I did have like one more. Oh, actually, where did I end up using the other climber? Oh right. Yeah, I gave him a climber. Um... Yeah, here I can only send out three climbers. Uh, because I only had three floaters. Hmm. That's another thing as well. I could probably just free the um, blocker. Um. Yeah. Here, here. Let me try freeing the blocker. something like this. I don't know if it'll be enough time for him to bridge the gap though. I doubt it. 
Uh, and plus he's not even high enough. Yeah, and they all end up joining. <laughs> We have four bombers, yeah, so we can lose them. We can lose the miner as well. I mean, the miner, the blocker. Um. Yeah, we would definitely need the bash for the end there. Uh, wait a minute. Yeah, I don't know if this will end up doing any good, but um... have to maybe bomb a little higher or something. Let me get probably do this or something. extra walking distance. I mean, it does help, but like, um, yeah, they, they still end up drowning anyway. Then, yeah, can I even still bash through this? Yeah, I can, but like, um, yeah, the problem is that some of them still drowned. Ah, uh, I think that might be the problem here. Okay, let's try to compress them all in there. I wonder if this will help a bit. Um, I doubt it, but um, we'll see. Oops, not a bomber. Wait a minute. Oh, no, 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 no. It wouldn't work because... Yeah, if I bomb here to stop the basher, then, I, then I'm not going to have enough to get through this wall. tighter in, but like, even then, I still don't think this would be enough to, um, bridge the gaps. Three of them ended up getting by that time. Uh, here, only two. Okay.
Uh, yeah, I didn't think it would be enough. Yeah, I didn't think it would be enough. Um, we do have one more, or no, two more climbers and a floater, though. that they can land on. Um, is like digging down here in such a way that uh, we can still release climbers. That's another thing we can do. Um, you can also release climbers this way as well. Um, but that's probably not going to help much. send a climber over safely. You had to build the last two bridges. Yeah, then we'd be all set. Anyway, yeah, because that is a very long drop. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if I try it, yeah, that's still like a pretty, pretty long drop. Um, yeah, then we mine blocker free. It's not gonna help much. Um yeah and then even if I send another climber with a floater over, it's not gonna help much either I don't think. I'm pretty sure it won't. Um... Hmm... Yeah, and I had two climbers left as well. Uh... 
Um. Hmm. Plus, what happens if I send a climber up all the way? What's gonna happen to him? No, nothing happens, okay. I didn't think any anything would. Um Yeah, another thing I could do is like this as well. Yeah, no, I'm pretty sure this won't help either. It's practically the same thing, just saving of Climbers and floaters. Yeah, and now they're like too like spread out. Oh, and uh, he didn't even break through all of this. Ah, I see, because, yeah, I did not bom bomb a climber. Yeah, who was one pixel inside the wall. So, yeah, maybe if I mine a little further back. Actually, before we do that, let's go ahead and send some more climbers and floaters over. Ah, uh, yeah, we can even do that as well. Yeah, bomb them with the climbers. I don't know how much good this would do, though. I highly doubt it would do any good. Yeah, see, it doesn't. However, I do have an idea. Yeah, why don't we try this instead? And then let me go ahead and max out the release rate right now. Once again, I don't think it's going to do any good, but, um, let's see, though. Yeah, what happens if we bomb them as climbers and make them go a pixel inside? Yeah, is that going to help some? Yeah, that didn't help either. They're just coming way too soon, and yeah, and this is most certainly not enough time.
could mine the other way as well, but um, yeah, that's not going to help much either. Um, I'm pretty sure we will need all bombers get through as well anyway. Even if we build up bridges up here, no one can access them. Except for the climbers, but um, it's not going to do as much good, I don't think. bouncing back. Yeah, before he even reaches the wall, so that's not going to help either. So yeah, we definitely will have to go down here. Uh, yeah. I am starting to be at a loss here for the time being. Um... them though. Um Yeah, you go the way down and then I bash. Um Yeah, and that sends some climbers over. But again, they can only go through here with the floater. Without a floater, the toast. Not literally, but like, um. Uh, they will spot, they will die. Um, yeah, and again, the only way through this is with the bombers. Um. Uh, here we are allowed to lose five though, which means we can lose the four bombers and also the blocker. But um, I don't see how that could be useful though. Um, where is the place that we can even trap these guys? Yeah, I honestly have no idea right now. Um, this is probably something that I need to come back to. Alright, let's go ahead and stop here. Um, so, this is another load that, that I couldn't solve in this little, uh, video, but um, that was quite alright. Um, it was probably bound to happen later, eventually anyway. Uh, and especially since we are near the end of the pack. Um, it is the penultimate level. So, um, and again, I was told that this is a difficult level. Yeah, and... 
I mean, like, um, yeah, probably the ideas in it aren't difficult. Maybe just, like, doing the solution is, but, um, in any case, yeah, I managed to figure out most of it. Yeah, there's probably just some linchpin that I'm missing. Yeah, that's preventing me from solving it. In particular, uh, there's, there should be a way to, um, to, like, get the bridges done on time. Yeah, before anyone else arrives. And that would have happened if I had maybe one more floater. Yeah, then we'd be all set, but um, we don't. So we have to work with what we do have rather than what we don't have. So anyway, um, I will come back to this level later on, and hopefully we'll have more success. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video of the Let's Play, and I'll see you all for the next one.